I have a new video for you about the television show iCarly. As you guys know, iCarly is being revived by Paramount Plus and is expected to come out later on this year. But there may be a delay in production because on-set drama with Miranda Crosgrove has shaken up the show. One of the original executive producers of iCarly has left the revival because he and Miranda just couldn't get along. Today we're going to talk about the latest iCarly drama and we're going to talk a little bit about an extremely serious accident that Miranda was in. So let's get into it. Miranda Crosgrove is a 27-year-old actress and singer who got her start from Nickelodeon shows created by Dan Schneider. We've talked a bunch about Miranda Crosgrove on my channel because we've called out the gross moments in iCarly. We've also talked about her stalker experience, which is insane. But today we're going to talk about new drama involving the iCarly revival. I'm really hoping this isn't going to be a Lizzie McGuire part two because as you guys know, Disney Plus tried to revive Lizzie McGuire. But Hilary Duff was not having it. She could not get along with anyone on set. Disney had a whole other idea for the show. She wanted to make it more mature and adult friendly. They wanted to make it for the children. So that revival was canceled because the main actress, Hilary Duff, couldn't get along with the rest of the team. And it looks like the same situation is going on here with Miranda Crossgrove and the iCarly staff. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So there is this man named Jay Kogan. He actually was part of the original iCarly series. He worked on the show from 2007 to 2012, and he was an executive producer and a co-showrunner on set. So this man was very, very involved in directing, producing, and just being there on set with the talent as they went through the scenes and shot the episodes. I can't find too much about Jay Kogan online, just besides the fact that he is a producer. He's worked on several different projects and it actually seems like he's pretty well liked by people online. I was reading forums where people were talking about their experiences with him and it seems like he is a talented producer. So maybe not as creepy as Dan Schneider but he was still there on set while they did all the weird feet things with children. So I doubt that this man is 100% okay but maybe he's not as bad as Dan. Anyways, Paramount Plus is part of Nickelodeon. I'm not entirely sure how but they're in the same like company or under the same umbrella company. You guys know Vi Viacom, Viacom, I always mess up the name. I think it's Viacom. Viacom actually owns a bunch of production companies, including Nickelodeon, Paramount Plus, and more. And it seems like Nickelodeon gave iCarly to Paramount Plus to make a more adult version. As you guys know, last year, the iCarly revival was announced and they put out a whole trailer and everything. We've been talking about that on my channel, but now that they've actually got into reading the scripts and acting on set, there has been some drama that has come about. And it's between this man, Jay Kogan, and Marie. Miranda Crosgrove. So it actually turns out that this man Jay was pretty much running everything when it comes to this iCarly revival. He was the main boss and actually he spilled the beans on when the show was supposed to come out and he shared on Twitter that it was supposed to come out May 2021. But I keep saying supposed to, supposed to because he's no longer involved. And I'm sure the executive producer and co-showrunner leaving the set is going to cause some delays in production. In the article I read about this situation, Jay Kogan was referred to as leadership. There is a change in leadership. So I am certain that this man was pretty much running this ship. So it's pretty wild to think that Miranda Crosgrove pretty much fired him. Well, I'm sure she didn't fire him. I'm sure some exec did, but he was fired and let go or re resigned, whatever he wants to say. He claims he resigned. But the reason he resigned was because him and Miranda Crossgrove just could not get along. This article claims, according to sources, Comedian, veteran, Kogan, and iCarly star Miranda Crosgrove did not click creatively. Click creatively is kind of like lingo for saying they definitely did not get along. And when they were on set, I'm sure he was instructing her to do things she just didn't want to do or she doesn't think it's funny. So their excuse might be, oh, they don't click creatively, but I'm sure it was a lot more nasty on set, especially because Miranda knows how to stand up for herself. The article claims that those creative 
differences, creative differences, led to Kogan leaving the set and no longer working with iCarly, which that's really huge. I mean, that is a serious job. He's probably getting a pretty good salary there. So it's weird to think that he's just going to leave. Unless maybe Paramount has another gig for him, like lined up to go to. I'd be pretty pissed that Miranda Crosgrove just like took away my job because she didn't creatively get along with me. But I'm team Miranda because I'm sure this J guy was trying to make her do things that she just didn't want to do. And we all know that Miranda has an idea for iCarly. She wants it to be an adult version of the show, more mature, funny, like funny without involving feet. We don't need the overlit set. We don't need the stupid words like Hobsnocker and all those other things that Dan Snyder created. So I'm not too sure if Jay Kogan was trying to bring that into this version of the show, but of course Miranda wasn't having it. And a lot of people think that this new version of iCarly is just going to be great and amazing because it's not produced by Nickelodeon, but we must understand that Paramount Plus and Nickelodeon are pretty much synonymous. If they're owned by Viacom, then they are just part of the same industry. And actually finding out that the same people who worked on the original set are coming back to work on the revival, I found that really, really odd because why would you want the same people there? We don't want it to be the exact same show. I at least don't want to watch a kid version of these adults just doing the same type of thing. So why wouldn't they hire a new team who has, you know, advanced training and creating shows like these that are for adults and that are funny. It makes me think that the same toxic people who were on set of the original iCarly are just back on set doing the same toxic things. And that's why Jay Kogan was kicked to the curb. But don't worry about Jay because it looks like he does actually have some new work. He's supposedly working as a consulting producer for another sitcom that is being revived. It wasn't too clear what this sitcom was, but they did say it's not involved with Nickelodeon and it's going on a new streaming platform, which Paramount Plus is going to be a new stream platform so could it still be there i don't know but that's the latest with the iCarly drama guys and i feel like there is a lot of things going on behind set and i have a feeling that it's not going to be coming out in may i mean may is like what nine days away so i do not think that they're going to be putting this out then like what Jay's tweet said, but I do hope that the show continues and actually does come out because I don't want another Lizzie McGuire moment. I don't want a Lizzie McGuire part two. I actually found it so annoying that like Disney wouldn't cater to Hillary Duff because I feel like Disney was trying to make it a kid's show and Hillary was trying to make it cool and modern and funny and adult, but Disney just didn't like that. So they would rather just cancel the show than cater to what Lizzie, aka, you know, Hillary Duff would like. So I hope that Viacom, Nickelodeon, Paramount Plus do not take the same approach when it comes to Miranda. But I want to shift gears a little bit because I was doing some research on Miranda and I came across a story that I want to share with you guys. And honestly, I didn't know how to tell you about it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to group it into this video because there was a serious accident that Miranda was involved in and I had no idea about it. And it explained so much, so much about her music career. If you guys did not know, Miranda used to have a music career and I am such a fan. I've been listening to so many of her songs recently. Literally my three most recently liked songs is Leave It All To Me, the iCarly theme song, Kissing You, which is ugh, iconic, and About You Now, which Miranda has some bops out there. She actually had a contract with Sony at one point for her record label, and that's when she released her album Sparks Fly, which at the time it did pretty well. I mean, it wasn't like a number one, but it did really well for a Nickelodeon star turned singer. And honestly, I really wish that Miranda was still doing music, but there's a good reason why, and it involves this accident. So Miranda supposedly lost $2 million over this one accident that went down. So according to the New York Post, back in the day, in 2010, Miranda Crosgrove was making about $180,000 per episode. That is a ton of money. I had no idea how much these kids were making on these television shows, but I guess it makes sense now why their parents force them into the business and exploit them for this because all they care about is money. It's so unfortunate. According to that same article, they claim that she made over $1 million during her teen years on that show. I mean, she was the second highest paid child actor at that time. This puts her net worth to about $10 million, which is crazy. But keep in mind, she lost $2 million. But you're probably asking Sloan, how did she lose the $2 million? Like, just tell us already. Well, in 2011, Miranda Crosgrove was on tour for her album Sparks Fly. They were traveling all across the country in a tour bus, and they went from one coast to the other, but they never made it to the other coast. 
first. And the reason why is because along the way, the tour bus got into a car accident. And the Nickelodeon star who performed at the phrase just last night was injured when her tour bus crashed a few hours later. Police say Miranda Cosgrove suffered a broken ankle in this. Her bus had a park semi near Vandalia, Illinois. The iCarly actress has now postponed her dancing crazy summer tour. The accident occurred just hours after Cog Cosgrove performed to a packed house at the phrase in Kettering. Cogrove, Cosgrove is promoting her first album, Sparks Fly. The bus crashed in Illinois on its way to Kansas, and like you guys heard inside that little news clip, she broke an ankle over it. Also, what was this bus driver doing? Like, he was just trying to stop and then just ran into the truck? Like, why wouldn't he try to swerve out of the way? He's got some precious cargo. Supposedly, Miranda, her mom, her family was on that bus, and they all got slightly injured. The driver was actually hurt the most, and he had to be airlifted from the scene to a hospital. So, of course, Miranda could continue tour because she injured her foot and her ankle so they had to cancel the rest of the tour which is a lot of money because 25 more shows were to be done and because of this accident her record label Sony actually dropped her because they were supposedly depending on this tour to pay back the cost of her album I feel like that's really messed up of Sony to do that like literally your talent gets injured on the road and then you decide to cut their record label because now that tour is not going on you're so tired of investing money you've just lost so much let's get rid of her and I don't know why but this accident started a series of unfortunate events for Miranda because around the same time she lost her contract with Neutrogena which is a skincare brand they are supposedly working with Miranda at that time, but decided to cut ties. This all led to her losing up to $2 million. I mean, at least $2 million, I said up to. So that is a lot of money lost and a very serious and unfortunate event. I mean, she was just a young girl at that time. 2011, she was on tour trying to perform her songs like Kissing You, and then her driver just gets her into this accident and it all goes downhill from there. So I thought that was really interesting because I'd never heard about it before and I wanted to share it with you guys. But I I do want to mention that Miranda Crossgrove and her mother ended up suing the bus driver, the driver of the tractor, and the transportation companies, claiming that the whole thing could have been prevented. According to the lawsuit filed in federal court in the state of Illinois, Miranda and her mother claimed that they were each disfigured and disabled and have, quote, lost their normal lives as a result of the crash. They didn't include details about their specific injuries in the lawsuit filings, but they are demanding more than $50,000 each, so over $100,000. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a package to open for you guys on camera. And I don't know who this is from because the name isn't on here. And actually my address was wrong here. So the mail person was like, we're going to destroy it. And I was like, oh no. So let's go ahead and see. Maybe I can just like get this. Ooh, yes. Just like cut the tape with my nails. Actually, I have very strong nails, guys. If you know that um, if I touch you, if I ever like try to touch you or like grab you and I accidentally slice you, I apologize. So, ooh, let's go ahead and open this package. Ooh, there's a note right on top. So that helps. Hey Sloan, I play Esperanza, Dion's friend on Netflix, Raising Dion. Oh my gosh, I've heard of that. I like how your videos show care and concern for child actors and I'm glad I have not had any issues myself. Wait, so this is a child actor from... Netflix is raising Dion. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I've not had any issues myself. That's great. I started my own t-shirt company. The website is Disability Shirts to spread awareness and acceptance for those in the disability community. Oh, that's really awesome. I included a signed mini poster from Raising Dion. If you ever want to have me on your show for an interview or something else, send me a DM to my Instagram, Sammy Haney. Oh my gosh, Sammy. Um, wow, we're shooting season two right now. And she signed it, Sammy Haney. Oh, thank you so much. Actually, I believe I know who she is. She's pretty young. So I'm assuming maybe her parents typed this up for her, but wouldn't that be awesome to have her on the show? Because she even said that she's never had any issues when it comes to being a child in the industry. So I don't know. I, I, I love that. I mean, actually thinking about it, Alexa Nicholas also talked about coming on my YouTube before. So if you guys want me to and like invite these people, let me know. Oh, and here's the little like sticker thingy she sent me and it has her signature on it. That is so, oh, she's so cute. Look, she's got like the little like fuzzy um, like headband on with glasses. Oh my gosh, Sammy, you are adorable. I love this. Thank you. <gasps> why am I, why do I feel like I'm going to cry? I feel like I'm going to cry. This one is a sticker that says different, different lists. And I think that's just about, you know, 
people who um, have disabilities are no less than anyone else. It's like different, less, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's my interpretation. Um, it looks like she's got a card here. Oh my gosh. So she's got a whole business. I will link it below. Sammy Haney's disability shirts. That is adorable. I love these, girl. You are a queen. Thank you. And thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I need to get this out. She sent me a mug. This is just so kind. Thank you so much, Sammy. It's incredible to see sometimes like who watches my YouTube channel because it's just me over here sitting in my room and like putting it together and putting it out there. I mean, Netflix is such a huge deal. You have like a team, people working all this, getting this stuff out here. So it's crazy to think that you've seen my YouTube channel before. And she sent me this mug that says, don't hate different. And I Love that. Thank you so much, Sammy. This is actually incredibly special, and I feel so grateful that you have seen my YouTube channel and felt um, like you wanted to reach out to me and send me these things. So thank you so much. If you want to shop her uh, her shop, I will link it below. I'll also include, I guess, her Netflix link to her show. So thank you so much, and I will see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys. Bye.